Today I want to talk about the process of photosynthesis, the process whereby plants assimilate materials from their environment in order to grow, produce new cells. But for many hundreds of years this process was a mystery. It was found that plants are not necessarily absorbing compounds from the soil, nor necessarily only from the air or from the water they, uh, they use. It was a kind of a combination of all of these things that through the process of photosynthesis, plants capture light energy and use that to produce compounds for themselves. These sugars then help the plant grow and develop. That as organisms eat these compounds, they too assimilate this energy into themselves and use that. Uh, that as organisms eat each other, this original energy is sent throughout the entire ecosystem. Plants come in a variety of shapes and sizes, from the very tall woody trees to the kind of small microscopic organisms that live in and around water. That uh, you do have a process whereby water is very important and is therefore incorporated in the first stage of uh, photosynthesis along with light from the sun. And this energy, this stored energy, is then used to build various large carbon compounds from carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Therefore, the inputs for this reaction include carbon dioxide converted into sugar, water, the energy from which, along with sunlight, used to create oxygen as a waste product. In the first stage of photosynthesis, you have water and light being used to create chemical energy, the energy of stored electrons. The water, when broken down, gives you hydrogens, as well as electrons and oxygen. The oxygen is discarded, the other parts are kept. This chemical energy is then used to fix carbon dioxide to make large carbon compounds called sugars from this carbon compound, uh, this raw material, carbon dioxide. This process is carried out in the chloroplast. The chloroplast is an organelle found in a plant cell that it has a number of these folded structures these thylakoids where the chlorophyll is located. Chlorophyll is the main photosynthetic pigment found in green plants. The job of chlorophyll is to absorb light energy. It's very good at absorbing most of the colors found in light. It's very bad at absorbing green though, so this green is reflected and can be seen as the color of green leaves. That, as we can see here, it is very good at absorbing blues, these wavelets or colors of light here, as well as the reds. And this energy is then used to fix carbon dioxide uh, when it is uh, converted to chemical energy. There are also a number of accessory pigments that are present in plants. A minority of uh, the pigments in a, plant's, uh, in a plant cell will be these accessory pigments. Mostly you have chlorophyll. The colors of the lines here correspond to the colors that these pigments appear to us. And these uh, peaks here correspond to the colors these pigments are very good at absorbing. So you're trying to absorb as much of the light as possible using these carotenes like beta carotene and xanthophils like zeanthin, zxanthin right here. Uh, the graph here shows that overall the highest rate of photosynthesis is produced at the blue end of the spectrum as well as the red end as well. The process of photosynthesis therefore takes carbon dioxide, converts that to sugar using the energy found in water as well as in light. In an ecosystem you also have organisms, including plants too, that carry out photosynthesis to take this uh, large carbon compound in the food they make or the food they eat and break it down to create energy rich molecules like ATP. Therefore Photosynthesis allows for energy and materials to be propagated throughout the ecosystem. These green plants make food, and then when they are eaten, they pass this energy and these nutrients on to a variety of others. And uh, this is a cycle because uh, organisms, decomposers like fungi and bacteria in the soil, then recycle these materials so they can be used by plants again. You may have seen food chains like this one on land or one in water before that uh, autotrophs are these producers that produce their own food. The heterotrophs are organisms above them that eat these organisms that depend on others to uh, get nutrients for themselves. In summary, therefore, these photosynthetic organisms act as producers in their environment, that they make their own food from energy in their surroundings. Photosynthesis uses sunlight specifically. 
that the process of photosynthesis uses a number of pigments, a number of different pigments that capture different amounts of different colors of light in order to produce sugars from raw materials like carbon dioxide. The uh, water that is also used is broken down into oxygen and released as a waste product.